Hi everybody and welcome back to Kepri Gaming with me Matt. And for the past few days I've been playing Fortnite and what I think I've found is the best place to land when you're playing a solo battle royal in Season 3. And it's this boat which I think is called the Yacht. It's on the map every single time like everything else and sometimes it's close to where the battle bus drops you off and sometimes it's far away. But even if it's far away, it's definitely worth travelling there. Because, as far as I'm aware, there's no other starting location with this many chests, and some of the chests are extra special. And you can get purple or gold weapons right from the start. Now, the reason I'd choose this location is because not many people know about it. Well, I've played about 10 games over the past few days, and only twice has somebody also gone to the same location which means you've got all these chests, all the shields, all the guns and all the extras and they're all waiting there just for you. And the amazing thing is you can take your time, because even when the storm forms and even when it starts closing in, as well as two speedboats there's also a helicopter. So you can leave it right until the very last second, jump on the helicopter and speed away much faster than the storm can close in. So, here you can see I'm walking around the boat and there are so many chests to find and you can get some really good items. Another thing to add is that because it's so far away from everything else and there are no other players nearby, by the time it's time to leave, the amount of people still in the game is always under 50. So you can spend about 5 or 10 minutes just running around the boat, getting all the best weapons, ammo, medikits and shields, and then when you actually start the game, you're already past halfway. I think by starting here over the past two days, i finished second about six times and I'm not even that good. And actually, just before making this video, I actually finished in first place, and that is only my second ever time winning a solo battle royal. Just fast forward through here. Now, I don't know what these chests are called, but these ones are the ones to look out for. There's usually around one of these chests on the boat, and they always contain either a purple or yellow gun. Sometimes they're at the front of the boat, but you can find them in a variety of locations. But the fact is, it doesn't really matter, because you've got so much time to explore the boat before you have to move on. And in this video, I'm showing you three occasions where I've landed on the boat and the amazing weapons you can get before even starting the game. Fast forward again. As you can see, there's 25 players remaining and I've not even left the boat. So, you can stay on this boat for a long time. At least when there's 50 people, but more often than not, you leave the boat when there's less than 25 people in the game. Which gives you an incredible head start and you know you're going to leave the boat with some great weapons, some shields and also some medikits. And here we go, it's time for me to leave. I head straight to the helicopter and go away. It's that easy. So there you go. I'd spent around 7 minutes on the boat and here we go for my second game. 
Again, I've jumped off the battle bus and headed straight for the boat. This time, I'm landing on the roof. But you don't have to. In fact, the best place to land is sometimes the front. But if you go in here, you can smash the top. But someone's followed me. And as you can see, we've gone in and I've just died. Which isn't the best. But some people are catching on. In fact, making this video is probably a very bad idea. Because if people watch this and do the same thing, then I've lost my advantage. And I'm not that good at Fortnite, so I do need the advantage. But I don't play that often, so hopefully this is useful. So, let's go again. The third time playing and I'm going straight for the boat again. And again, on this occasion, I'm landing on the top. Sometimes it's easiest to work from the top down. So you don't need to look for stairs, don't have to build ramps. You can just take the stuff from the top and work your way down. And there is a chest right at the top, as you can see here. The thing is, when you open it, all the stuff spills out. So, you've got to time your jump just right and land on there. Just like that. And there you can see you've got a blue rifle. Pretty powerful weapon. But there's so many chests to explore that even if you can't get them, it's not too important. These chests are always in the same location. So, after doing this a few times, you know exactly where to go. So you can speed through this and get off the boat as quick as you want. So already I've got a blue weapon, two greens, some medikits, loads of ammunition, a large medikit, under here is another chest, a green weapon, more bandages, and there's a special chest in the glass case. And there we can see there's a purple weapon. They're the chests you need to look for. They do have the very best weapons and it is worth your time exploring the boat. So I usually take this route. You can run through here. And there's a chest in the next room, there's so many ammo boxes, and you have to leave so many weapons behind. You just can't pick up every single one. But you can leave the boat with the weapons you like best. Another medikit, another chest. Again, pistols. I generally leave pistols behind. There's always a chest up here hidden away. So smash that. That opens the chest for you. And all the items fall down. And again, more bandages. I'll take them. But there's someone there. Well, they're no match for me. They were taken out easily. Again, by that stage I've got some great weapons already, and even though they've got a blue weapon, a green weapon, there's really no competition. At this stage of the game when you've got a purple or yellow weapon, it's so easy to take people out. And already we've just explored the boat and there's only 34 people in the game. I've got one kill, which actually is quite a surprise, as not many people ever come here, but this is the hidden gem in the game. The best place to start. Unless of course you like to go straight into battle and fight. In that case, well, this probably isn't the best place to start. But for me, it's perfect. I spend most of the level just hiding to the end, looking for the best weapons and the best items, and I try to avoid as much conflict as possible. Because, in my experience, there are so many gamers much better than me at Fortnite. But either way, my tactics have got me 6 second places in the past 10 games, and, as I said, I also got a win before making this video. I did record that win, and that video will be coming soon. 
I'll just speed through this bit. And what you're watching now is the start of my winning level. This is the start of the game where I won, and sadly, as you can see, someone else is also heading to the boat. If that's the case, it goes one of two ways. That person will either hunt you down and take you out of the game, or they'll just leave you alone and try and get the best items. I didn't bother looking for them, because I wanted to get the weapons, ammo, shields and medikits before they did. I'll just speed through here. And as you can see, I'm doing pretty well so far, even though there's somebody else on the boat. Now, if they do come, I think I'm ready. My shield is pretty high, it's at 90. I've got some half decent weapons. And if I do stumble across them, I've got a good chance. I can't hear them anywhere, so I think they might have left already. I can't hear any gunfire. And they could be like me, just trying to find some weapons and get off. Now these boxes are good to look out for. These contain food, but I think the peppers give you a speed boost. And that really really helps and you can take them with you, and when you need to run away fast they really come in useful. Here we go, another chest hidden away, and there we can see a purple weapon, a shotgun. And I've not even fully explored the boat, and as you can see the weapons I've got are pretty good. I've still got 90 shield, I've got medikits, a purple weapon, a blue weapon and a green. But I know there's still so much more to find. So, until I have to leave, I'll keep searching. Fast forward again. Again, so many medipacks. In this case, I've got to leave it there. Looking at the map, I've got a long way to travel. There's some doubt in my mind that someone's got the helicopter, but I didn't hear it, and even if he has, there's two speedboats, so there's not much to worry about. Another hidden chest. Again, they're always in the same place on the boat. So, after a few times, you know exactly where to go. And I don't think there's a better place to start where there's so many weapons, so much ammo, so many shields and so many medikits to take with you. And on my way to the helicopter, another purple weapon and another shield. So, a pretty good start. So jump over there, the helicopter's in front of me, I build a ramp to the helicopter, just there, and look, right at the very front of the boat is that very important chest, and inside is another purple weapon. I would add at this stage that the weapons I've got on the screen here are the same weapons I ended the game with. These weapons were enough to win the game. I didn't pick up another weapon, and I won the solo battle royal with this. I've got enough ammunition, I've got some decent weapons, I've got shields and I've got medikits, and thankfully I've also got a helicopter. There's nothing else I need to win the game, apart from a bit of skill. So, that's it. That's the place to travel to when you start a solo battle royal on Fortnite. 
always go to the same location if you want to start the game with the best weapons and also by the time you leave there's usually around 20 to 25 people left in the game, sometimes even less. And the video where I won the game is coming soon, so do look out for it on the Kepri Gaming channel. Thank you for watching this video from Kepri Gaming, please subscribe and like the video and if you've got any great tips on Fortnite please leave a comment below. Thanks very much and more videos are coming soon.